And while we were very happy to be what we called at that point in time, internet radio, which of course became podcasts, and some of my fans actually attribute Retro Gaming Radio to being the very first podcast and me being the inventor of it. That's not what Wikipedia says, of course, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, I've made peace with the fact that someone else will get credit. But in all honesty, we started off as a very small weekly show. The first shows were very short, um, and they were born out of the desire to convey news about the brand new budding state of emulation in the computer world, in the PC world. And for me, at that point in time, I was seeing names of developers like Paul Norman and David Crane and Don Bluth, of course, a big fan of his just animation wise. But these are the people that inspired me. When I played a uh, Paul Norman game, when I played a David Crane game like Ghostbusters on the Commodore 64, these names resonated with me. These were all names of people that you knew. When you booted up a game and you saw Paul Norman and the Forbidden Forest intro comes up, you know, uh, it, just, it just blew you away. And it's like, God, I, I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. I want to meet my heroes. I want to go out and, and, and meet these guys. The, um, you know, we experimented with the technologies of the day, including um, real player, right? How far back does that go? Real player, quick time. Uh, we looked at Microsoft streaming format, ASF, which I can't remember what that stands for, but somebody will probably remember and email me after this. But um, we, we experimented with a way of merging audio with video. In other words, we wanted to be able to do a show where I could talk about Forbidden Forest, but you could also see it while I was talking to you about it. I know, basically YouTube, right? But what I found interesting was later on, we figured out um, we had like Catholic ministers listening to the show, like, like ordained religious clergy listen to the show. Uh, we also had very young listeners. We had very old listeners. Um, but we also had like, like people you wouldn't expect it. We had one guy that was literally a crackhead. We have like a man of the cloth listening to the show. And we have a crackhead listening to the show and everybody in between. 